Hello and welcome back to the Translated Fusion Minis. This one, episode 16, will be about the Remove Noise note. Because it's not fun to use it, but once you need it, it's there. This clip is called noiseclip.moth on purpose. <laughs> yes. I just had to record some footage for this short tutorial and therefore I underexposed my shot drastically and to bring back the light I just used uh, I think plus 9 dB gain. Yes, and in the shadow areas you can clearly see that I did something wrong. But let's say that's the footage you have to work with because, um, I don't know, the press conference is over, your actor has died, or um, the wedding won't be celebrated twice. Reasons. That means you have to use this footage in one way or the other, and that's where the remove noise note comes in handy. So, with the Loader note selected, I press shift and space to open my add tool window. I type in noise and here it is. Remove noise. Yes, this is how the note looks. And what I need now is a second image view window so we can see the difference it makes right away. Okay, now let's take a look at what we are able to do with this note. By default, it opens with six sliders visible. Three for softness, three for detail. R, G and B. If you do not want that for any reason and to simplify things for now, I click on lock and boom, we are left with only two of these sliders and take an educated guess what happened when I change the softness, yes, it blurs. And something around here looks good for me now. I know all the detail is gone. But hey, fortunately we still have the detail slider. Hey, how easy can it be? <laughs> all right. Um, with this slider, you bring back a lot of your detail. Not everything, that's for sure, but a good amount of detail. And in my opinion, you can clearly see the difference between the two images. The right one now is actually usable. Please don't get me wrong, it will never look as good as well-exposed ungrainy footage. But if you really have to go with this clip, because that's the one shot, and you do not want to spend money on expensive plugins that you might only use once, this is how you can do it. Although I hope you will never have to do it. Okay. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye.